The following is a production of Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Each spring, the North Atlantic is home to an enormous bloom of microscopic plants, or phytoplankton, stretching across thousands of square miles. The exchange of heat between the ocean and air, wind and sunlight, all play a role in triggering this huge bloom. Now, new research has found that swirling currents or fields of eddies are a critical trigger as well. In the North Atlantic, the surface of the ocean is cooler and denser toward the north and warmer and more buoyant toward the south. This difference in ocean density creates swirling eddies that tend to move more buoyant water over denser water. During the winter, the sun is low on the horizon. The ocean surface loses heat to the atmosphere, and winds from the west are in the direction of the mean currents. This creates turbulence, deeply mixing the water and pushing phytoplankton cells to depths where they do not have enough light to grow. When the intensity of the ocean cooling subsides and winds slacken or reverses with respect to the currents, eddies overcome the deep mixing action and create a shallower layer of lighter, warm water lying above denser, cool water. Even before the sun's heating sets in for the summer, the phytoplankton cells are trapped near the surface where they receive more sunlight and grow rapidly, forming an immense patchy bloom of phytoplankton across the ocean's surface. To learn more about Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, visit us on the web at www.whoi.edu.